on Earth real quick. And hello and welcome to Phoenix Wright dubbed attorney. And we've got Jinty's cheer coming through for for I've also seen both Cyber and Kira subscribing to the channel and Kira also giving points. Thank you everyone for turning out to our inaugural debut episode for Phoenix Wright dubbed attorney. Oh, it's been a long time, it's uh, been a hectic couple of weeks trying to put everything together. But oh boy, I hope all this hard work, well, I know all this hard work is going to pay off. Now, <clears throat> whilst we are here, just double checking, are uh, the sound levels okay? As, uh, just checking with chat, are the sound levels all good? Can you hear me okay? Is the game music too loud? What's going on with this? I'm sure we'll check the sound levels with our wonderful three voice actors you can see here on screen. We'll get to introducing them. Please turn down the music. Okay. We'll turn down the music. Music should now be turned down a little bit. That way. How's that sounding, Jinty? Is that sounding a bit better? Music is a little loud. There we go. Hopefully, that is a bit of a better balance for everyone. Um, music's now good. Fantastic. Thanks for double checking that, Ham. Um, now you can hear me better thank you thank you jinty thank you oh fantastic so again welcome to the inaugural debut episode of spec dubs debut series phoenix wright dubbed attorney i am shamas i'll be heading up this alongside our three wonderful voice actors here let's go through the voice actors we have so I'll call on you each individually. I'd like you to introduce your introduce yourself by name, which character you'll be playing, and uh, some other interesting facts about yourself, and plug your own stuff as well if you want to. So we'll start. I'll go from right to left, top to bottom. Uh, sorry, left to right, top to bottom. So uh, I'll. Uh, so we'll start with Cyberman three hundred and sixty, Mister Ben Nevin himself. Please introduce yourself. Hello there, everybody. My name is Ben Nevin. I am a Twitch streamer just like Shammers. I stream under the name of Cyberman underscore 360. Uh, I've been a professional actor for the better part of 10 years. Yes, and, and yes, yeah, super excited to be involved with this project and cannot thank Shammers enough for casting me as uh, Phoenix Wright. Yes, we have <laughs> our Phoenix Wright here. He's dressed the part, he's got the smile. He's got the charisma. Let's see if we can get there. There we go. Although, <laughs> River's coming straight in with, why is he streaming from a funeral? That is, uh... It's shit light, and I swear this suit is actually purple. Right? <laughs> 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 but, but, purple suit. Very good. Oh, actually. You can see the purple coming through there. That is... That's a very nice purple tie. I kind of, I kind of feel like I'm underdressed now. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not... You're underdressed. I am literally in my pyjamas. Babes. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Oh, well, you've always got to be comfortable whilst... Uh, whilst uh, you've always got to be comfortable whilst voice acting. Um, <coughs> yeah. Right, I promise not to die. I've got a little bit of a cough. I'll try not to affect that with mine. So... Um, for those who have not seen me before, my name is Shamas. Um, I've done a little bit of voiceover work in the past. Some of it uh, commercial, some of it narration, some of it character actors, uh, character acting, I should say. Um, in today's case, I'll be playing both the beloved judge with that amazing beard. In for everyone that can <laughs> grow a beard, once a beard like the judge from the Phoenix Wright games. And I'll be playing defense lawyer, Winston Payne. Oh, there we go. And interesting fact, I am from Wales. There we go. That's all I'll give you for now. If you want any more interesting facts, be sure to ask. So, as I said, uh, left to right, bottom to... Uh, left to right, top to bottom. So next on our list, all in pink, we have the queen of pugs herself. Kira Z Pug, please introduce yourself. Hello everyone, I am Kira. I am a VTuber on Twitch. Um I am from England. Yes, I'm British, unfortunately. Oh god. Um, 
And in terms of voice acting, I only really do my own projects. Um, with I only have a Yandere audio up on YouTube at the moment under the same name as my Twitch. And yeah, I also learn Japanese in my free time. So yeah, konnichiwa minasa. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. And I will be playing Mia Fei. That you will be, that you will be. God will love a multilingual voice actress. There we go. <laughs> it is special talent and Japanese, such a great language as well. Such a great language. <laughs> there we go. And last, but certainly not least, all the way from Scotland, we have Lily A. Otter. Please introduce yourself. Hello or hello. I am Lily A. Otter. Also just go by Lily because it's much less than mouthful. <laughs> I am also a, a streamer on Twitch. I am a PNG tuber, however, and I play a variety of games. I am also trying to learn Gaelic, and I have a pretensity to do a little bit of my own art. So, any sprite that you see is my own. And I am playing the one, the only, Larry Butts. Dear God, if it smells. It's most likely the butts. <laughs> there we go. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. So, what's everyone's experience with the Phoenix Wright games? Because uh, I, for one, have never really played them before, but I have watched, um, oh, probably about 10 years ago now, I watched another phenomenal uh, YouTuber called Tyranny and his Let's Dub project. They did something very similar to this, but up on YouTube, not, on, not live streamed on Twitch. So what, what, what's everyone else's uh, experience with the Phoenix Wright series? And I'd love to hear uh, answers for the same question in chat from anyone watching as well. <laughs> Go on, Lily. <laughs> Why don't you kick us off? What is your experience with, uh, <clears throat> with the Ace Attorney series? We have a mild familiarity with the Ace Attorney series. I've watched bits and pieces here and there. And I fully admit I have seen the Ace Attorney in a nutshell uh, videos that are absolutely hilarious. <laughs> um, as for the games themselves, I haven't really played through them. I've seen bits and pieces, like I said, but out with of that, I don't really know the games off by heart. Excellent, excellent. Then we'll move on to uh, Ms. Pugsies. Uh, what is your uh, what is your experience with the Phoenix Wright series? <clears throat> oh, sorry. So I watched a little bit of the anime a while ago, but I, and I mean a while ago. Um, and I've also seen a little bit of the game as well, but I haven't really seen past the first case. So yeah, that's the only where I am with the, with the series. Fantastic, fantastic, and. Mr. Man underscore 360 comma cyber. Uh, what is what is your experience with uh, with these? Well, uh, I have played the first game in its entirety, but unfortunately when I did play it, and being, uh, being colorblind and playing point and click adventure games is a wonderful experience. And so I kind of gave up after the, the fourth case, which is notoriously difficult, especially in the evidence gathering sections, where you're basically just given a screen and being like, spot the difference effectively. But I fell in love with the type Isle and it's like the overall storytelling and it works uh, much like here I'm familiar with the animated series at least to begin with I haven't saw the full run yet but I do fully intend to watch it because it is a phenomenal uh, bit of media. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, oh, I hope, uh, there we go, and we've got some responses in chat as well. Uh, River's saying I've played through the, played through the three or four first trials and uh, Jinty has never watched Ace Attorney at all. So, can well, highly recommend it. Jinty, you're in for an absolute treat. You're in for an absolute treat. <laughs> um, also, so, uh, some small bookkeeping things before we start this. So, uh, this Let's Dub project, I'm going to, I'm going to call it, um, is going to be a combination of a fan dub and a Let's Play. So uh, there will be some gameplay sections. There will also be some voice acting sections that we each provide voices for the different characters we've been cast as. Um, do you, so for the voice acting sections, 
Unfortunately, sound alerts will not be available. Uh, as to let our voice actors uh, concentrate on their lines, and so they don't corpse mid-scene. However, in gameplay sections, have at it. So play as many uh, sound alerts as you want. Uh, any sound alerts or any Twitch alerts that we miss during um, that we miss during voice acting segments, we will be replaying after the voice acting segment has finished. So don't worry, you won't be missed out. Well, well, if you forget, you won't miss out on anything. Um, so yes, there's that. So uh, having said that, oh, we are now. Oh, okay, so uh, does anyone have anything they'd like to add before we move on to the game itself? Mm. Uh, yeah, another thing, just to let people know, I do have my script on my phone, so just to let you, let you aware, don't worry, I'm not just completely ignoring uh, the stream, I'm looking at uh, my lines uh, when I'm doing that, I'm not just <laughs> I'm not just organising a fucking night out uh, <laughs> when that's going down. Um... I do have the uh, comment if you still wish to pin it, Shammers, or if uh, you actually yes. wish to. Yes, let's tell, let me get my Twitch stream up first, because at the moment I've just got the restream chat. Um, yep, no worries, no worries. Yeah, there we go, so if you post that, I will pin it to the top if I can figure out how. There we go. It uh, should also, just be. Uh, there you fair, go. fair warning, Han has already attempted to start a fire in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't surprise oh, me, to be honest. Han, Han yeah, is a, cool. uh, apart from with one specific streamer that is definitely not me, Han is our resident arsonist. So, yeah. and it, plus it is Han's birthday today. That is something that we should uh, oh, accept birthday. Should, so, uh, arson, completely acceptable. Uh, I will let you arson, do not worry. As much as I want to protect the rest of my chat from... Happy birthday! Birthday. Happy birthday. Should we, should we, should we, should we get a wee song going? I mean, it is our birthday after all. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to turn the music on stream down. Let, let's give her a cast happy birthday song. I'll, uh, <laughs> as a bit, nice big present for Han. Um, you might hear beeping in the background. That is from uh, me moving up and down and trying to move things. But, right, so, tell you what. This is going to be disjointed as all hell because we're on a Discord voice call. <laughs> but I'll do, I'll do yeah. my best to count us in. So, I'll count as in standard happy birthday song. <laughs> Three, two, one. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Han. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> like every child's birthday party. <laughs> <I'm absolutely laughs> <best. laughs> Yippee! 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 I oh, don't, don't, don't. I've avoided lethal company for this long, right? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, well, it's just the loot bug thing, okay? You literally well, have that on your chat. I do, yeah, Speaking of things Cyber's been avoiding, let's all sing Yippee! Baby Shark, I'll count us in. Three, I'm going to kill you. Oh, I missed that. Objection! <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. Right, oh, so. Sexy. Hold on. Here's my drink. Copyright. Hang on. You, you, Hang YouTube on. copyright. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's gone offline on Twitch. Hang on. Oh. I can still see his life. I see his life, too. Oh, yeah, no, I see never mind. No, well. never mind. Just, just, just something on my side. Just a glitch on my side. It, it heard that he wanted. I wanted to sing Baby Shark, and it was like, nope, nope, bad choice. No, bad choice. <laughs> Even Twitch was like, no, fuck that. That's not happening. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right. So, oh. with that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to switch over to our. Main gameplay screen. And just so the voice actors can see this a little better, behind the scenes magic will occur. Ooh, magic. Ooh. <laughs> 
Right. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, my. I, 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 for, I forgot the audio was duplicated. Th that's generally how that works. You know, that's, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, Lily. Good job. I think that deserves a nice slow clap. Uh... <laughs> Oi, watch his mate. I refuse. Right, so. <laughs> so now, who in chat is ready? For us to get our Phoenix Wright dubbed attorney series on the go. If I don't see one yippee in chat, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Oh. Yeah. God. There you God. go. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. So last minute cast change. Um, someone else is going to have to play Mia Faye. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's see. Uh, dear God, apparently I'm a warlock. That is. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Oh yeah. I always thought I was. You mean a bad you mean you weren't aware? Maybe a bad luck of some kind. I don't know. Right. One oh no! What not? If we're going, if we need to go down like the the heritage section, surely it's a warlock with a draconic patron. Yeah. It's like Tiamat or something. I, th I think Rivers in chat just said that as well. The brain cell is once again being shared. <laughs> You love Does anybody see. even have like a non-shared brain cell at this point? Let's be honest. Wait, no, you guys are sharing the brain cell? That's where the brain cell went. I've been looking for mine all day. <laughs> right, so in that case. Let's get on with the dub. New game. Oh, uh, why am I clicking that? That's my OBS. Um, <laughs> the entire it, screen just it. disappears. <laughs> you know, I, I had a similar thing before. I was clicking the start screen from on my OBS earlier going, why isn't the stream going live? Just, to, just to, He's a professional, it, start, everybody. Yeah, I'm such a professional. You, you can tell just how good of a professional I actually am based on this. So, Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Honestly, I, honestly, Han, I, I don't even know if I have a brain cell myself, to be honest. I, I don't know where mine have gone. They've kind of gone walkies, you know. I'm going to end up halfway through this ball before you even get into voice acting, my god! Dear god. <laughs> right, so. Well, there we go. We have uh, Jinty saying that we're the effing best. Um, and that damn we're all. Are. Damn right we are. Right. So, going new game. Play this game, Phoenix Wright, dubbed attorney, or ace attorney. Episode one. The first turnabout. Can we take a moment to talk about how class Laddie's shoes are in that thing, by the way? Oh, I don't so want them. Yeah, for real. Peak of style. Peak of style. <laughs> I've never seen a pair of trainers with like a proper heel on them before. That is dynamite. <laughs> oh, it is. That is. So, it, they're kind of a mix between loafers and trainers. They're fucking great. It's um, like a pair of dress Air Jordans. Like, <laughs> I, I, I was about to say something, but it spoils it for people who haven't seen it. So I'll, I'll wish. But like, yeah. it makes sense if it's something that he's done. Aye, true. If he's just made that, yeah. Yeah. According to Rivers, he paid 50,000 yen for them. So that's uh, that does seem like a very Larry Bass thing to do. But either way, let's... It does, yeah. <laughs> right, so having said that, we all seem ready. So <clears throat> let's begin. Episode one, the first turnabout. Oh, actually, I need to turn the music back up, don't I? Jesus. That is... <laughs> that, that would probably help. Um... There we go. So episode one. Duff. The first we turn of it. Such professionalism. Much well. <laughs> Clearly. Why me? I can't get 
God, not like this! I, I've got to find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. <laughs> I'll make it look like he did it. <laughs> August 3rd, 9.47 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Boy, am I nervous. Right. Oh, uh, hi hiya, Chief. <sighs> I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you, and your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean, you knew the defendant before this case? Yes, actually I kinda owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I wanna help him out any way I can. I just really wanna help him out. I owe him that much. It's so my life, everything, it's all over. Uh, is that your client screaming over there? Yep, it's him. Death, despair. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna die. Sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. <sighs> hey! Hey there, Larry! Dude, I'm so guilty! Tell him I'm guilty! Give me the death sentence! I ain't afraid to die! What? <laughs> What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's over. Uh, I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who? Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. I took my baby away! Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspapers say it was you. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a Fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying. When something smells, it's usually the Butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and uh, I owe him one, which is why I took the case, to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do.
August 3rd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The, um, defense is ready, Your, Your Honor. Ahem. Mr. Wright? This is your first trial, is it not? Y yes Your Honor. I'm, uh, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank, <clears throat> uh, thank you, Your Honor. Hmm. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Ooh. Hands shaking, eyesight beating. This test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Right, okay. Oop, wrong one. Get this screen here. So, I don't think we've missed any uh, bit subscriptions or that kind of thing. So, guys. Well, let's see. Let's take a vote from chat. Who should we answer, chat? Who do you guys think we should answer with this time? Who is the defendant in this case? There we go. We've got Larry, uh, Genty voting Larry Butts. <laughs> Whilst we're waiting for chat to respond, voice actors, who should we be voting for here? I plead the fifth. <laughs> <Dear God. laughs> By my beard, the fifth is not accepted in this court. <laughs> God damn it, right? You cannot plead the fifth. <laughs> This court is rigged. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that all of you tried to do that while I was trying to get a sip of water was kind of unfair. You're welcome. Unfa unfair, but hilarious. <laughs> exactly. I believe the defendant was Larry Butts. We've had one vote for Larry Butts. <laughs> The defendant is totally the person, like, defending uh, someone, right? So clearly it's Phoenix Wright, you know? Yeah, clearly it's clearly. Phoenix Wright, yeah. yeah that, that's, that's where my vote goes, Phoenix Wright, absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it's... it's... <laughs> totally Phoenix Wright, absolutely. Let's, uh... Mm -hmm. Cool, in that case, we've made a decision. Two votes for Larry Butts, three votes for Phoenix Wright. Let's see how this goes. Um, the defendant is me, right? Right. Have you completely lost your mind? Focus. The defendant is the person on trial. You're his lawyer. Um, uh, yeah? oh yeah, right. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. You did pass the bar, didn't you? Sorry, I couldn't hear your answer through my beard. I'll ask once <laughs> more. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. <laughs> right, okay, so we definitely got that one wrong. Let's go with second place answer, Larry Butts. 
there we go. We'll carry on with that. But, gente voting butts. <laughs> the defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you, and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Whew, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... Wait. Uh-oh. Uh, no. No way, I forgot! I'm drawing a total blank here! Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim! Of, of, of course, I, I know the victim's name. I, um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab to check it at any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me. Please. I'm begging you. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Oh, right. Tough questions already. Tough questions already. Let's move back to that screen there. Let's check. <laughs> Let's have a check on this. Defendant, I got Mia Fey, Cinderblock, Cindy Stone. Let's let's double check the the court record. Shall it could be Mia Fey? Could be Mia Fey. It's a good guess there, Jinty. Um, let's check the court record. Let's press tab. So, we have the attorney's badge, very, very important, and Cindy's autopsy report. Oop, pressed the wrong button. There we go. Got Mia Fey, Larry Butts, Winston Payne, your owner, and Cindy Stone, the victim in this case. Oh, that's definitely somewhere we'll be coming back to many times throughout this. Right, so we've had... Well, let's put it up to... Let's put it up... So, we've got one vote from Jinty. Oh, that's okay, Jinty. That's it. We, we can still answer Mirfei. What do you guys think? Should we still answer Mirfei? I don't mind what, what, uh, what the I cannot speak. If chat says so, then who, who are we to argue against chat, you know? Yeah, we've got one vote for Mia Fey, another one for Cinderblock. Oh, and another vote, so one changed vote. One changed vote to Cindy Stone. <laughs> oh, let's hear the voice actors votes as well. Cyber, which one do you vote for? I distinctly remember reading it was Cinder Blah, right? There you go, that's Phoenix Wright's vote. The beard is too old to remember, and must stay impartial. <laughs> Kira, who do you think this is? Who, who, should we, who should we vote for? Who should we help? If I, rem if I remember correctly, the court record, the court record states that the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Oh, so there's two votes for each. Two votes for Cindy Block. Cinder Block. One, two votes for Cindy Stone. Lily, yours is the deciding vote here. Who should we? Who should we go for? Dude, you think I don't remember my girlfriend's name? It's Cindy Stone. That's the deciding vote, folks. 
Let's see how they react. If OBS will work. <laughs> um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Was the cause of death. She died because she was. Oh, let's see if Chuck can remember. How did Cindy Stone die? Oh, one vote for blunt object. There we go. The, the, the secret fourth option. She died of death. <laughs> yes. Clearly died of death. <laughs> yes, I remember the mortician telling me. Absolutely. She died of death. Case closed. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I'm afraid she has been killed to death. Dear God. Why <laughs> my bed. This is quite the, quite the dilemma. She died of death. How horrific. <laughs> is absolutely killed to bits. In that case, the prosecution rests their case, Your Honor. She died of death. <laughs> there we go. So, I think we've only had one vote for an actual choice that was hit by a blunt object. Let's see how they react. <clears throat> she was murdered. Made it to death, your honor. <laughs> she was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed now, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then. First, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what this object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. The, that evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use tab to check the court record frequently. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant Mr. Butts to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything... unfortunate. Uh-oh. 
Flavi gets excited easily. This could be bad. Ahem. Mr. Butts. Is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy! We were great together. Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Antony. Um. Didn't they all die? Uh. I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls. Or seeing me. Ever. What's it to you anyway? Mr. Butts, you describe it. What you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies. All of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Hmm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a mortal, but did not have any large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Daddies? Sugar? Yes. Older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah. Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? And with that, we have another choice. I feel like Discord is sometimes not picking us up because a couple of times I've not heard Tramage and a couple of times I've said something and it's not come through. That's fair. So just to double check, chat, how is, how's everyone sounding? So I know Lily's, for me at least, Lily's cut, uh, cut off a couple times. Um, are we going to vote for stop him from answering? Oh, there we go. One vote for stop him <coughs> from answering. Um, yeah, how's the sound balancing sounding, uh, everyone? Everyone out there in internet land, uh, how's, how's the sound coming through? Is it balanced? Do people need to be a little louder, a little quieter? What, how's it going with sound and stuff for now? So turn the volume down, is that for the music? 
Uh, I'm guessing that's for the music. Um, Got to turn the music down a little bit. There we go. Um, just an idea. Cool. Cool. Perfect. There we go. I'll turn the music down. Cool. So yeah, if you guys listen to the next voice acting segment, let me know if people are coming through okay. If it's sort of all, um, yeah, all going, all going okay on that end. But enough of the audio mumble jumble, mumbo jumbo out of the way. Let's see. Let's take a vote on who, what we do next. We've got stop him from answering and wait and see what happens. We've got one vote for stop him from answering um, from chat. So chat, chime in. Which one should we choose? Whilst we're waiting for chat, let's go through the VAs, the voice actors. I'll start with Mr. Phoenix Wright himself. Cyberman, which one should we, which one do you think we should go for here? I think we should stop him from answering. Larry has a bad habit of getting himself in trouble when left to his own devices. Interesting, interesting. Uh, what What about you, uh, Kira slash Mir? Who do you think, which one do you think we should go for? I too think we should stop him from answering. Winston Payne wants to hear his answer. But that's just the defense. What about uh, what about you? Um, what about you, Lily? What do you think? Me, myself, and I think don't talk. But dude, I just gotta say my piece. There we go. Looks like the outstanding majority want to stop him from answering. The Butts wants to talk, but as does Winston Payne wants to hear his answer, but we've had much more, much more of a resounding vote to stop him from answering. Let's see what happens. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Dude, what do you mean irrelevant? That she and she dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? <sighs> I believe the accused motives is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Uh. Well, did you or didn't you? Or did you not? Uh, <laughs> well, maybe I didn't, and maybe I didn't. Oh. He went. What do I do? Okay, chat, we have another choice. Oh, there we go. If you want to make your opinion heard, please type it in chat. Should we have Mr. Butts answer honestly, or should we stop him from answering? Please type your answers in chat whilst the cast cast their vote. Huh. Pun definitely intended. So, <coughs> let's start with Kira this time. Mia, who do you, what do you think we should do here? Well, in a court case, I think it's better if we have him answer honestly. 
Fantastic. Uh, Mr. Wright, do you agree? I agree with my mentor wholeheartedly. A lie would only expose him to the prosecution. Fantastic, fantastic. And Mr. Butts, what do you think of this? Oh, dude. I can't lie. It's better if I just say, right, Phoenix? Fantastic. So that's three votes from... Three votes for the honest answer. Four votes, including Jinty's. Or if anyone else wants to answer, as they say at many a wedding, speak now or forever hold your peace. I get confused at the last wedding I was at. I was just stood there holding a sandwich. It did look <laughs> like a very nice sandwich. That was a good piece, eh? There we go. Okay. No other answers from chat. We'll have him answer honestly. Let's see how this. I know. I'll send him a signal. Tell the truth. Yeah. I was there. I went. Order! Well, Mr. Butts. Dude, chill! She wasn't home, man. Like, so, like, I didn't see her. Your Honor. The defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, uh, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime order order in the court mr payne the prosecution may call its witness yes your honor this is bad On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. Mr. Sawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? Oh, oh, oh yes. Newspapers, yes. Mr. Soit, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I found a man fleeing the apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half and behind him. Thinking it's strange, I had looked inside the apartment. When I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead, I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. 
However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was without a doubt a defendant sitting right over there. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that! Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Y yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones don't function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those phones. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Blackout record added to the court record. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, uh, yes, Your Honor? You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor? All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why are you exposed to lies in the testimony the witness just gave? Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really... guilty? Uh, how do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um, okay. Open the court record with tab, then point out contradictions in the testimony. Okay. Cross-examination time. We have heard... Frank saw its testimony. Let's see if we can find some holes. Um, let me double check or welcome in on in. We've got 13 people in the dis in the uh, watching at the second. Welcome on in, everybody. That is excellent to see you all. Um, if you are here, uh, we do have restream chat posting different chat messages between youtube and twitch at the second so feel free to chat to each other if you post in the twitch chat people on youtube will be able to see it if you post in the youtube chat people in twitch will be able to see it as well so kind of works both ways quite good but othello does the wiggle and we've got dear god we've got double ham oh no double the arson um 
That is oh god, excellent. <laughs> double the flames, double the birthday flames. So, dear God, dear God, there's more. <laughs> no. Oh, God, I miss those shorts. Right, so... Oh, they were so good, right? Oh, they were uh, so anyway. good. They were so good. Right, so... Very briefly, before we cross-examine Soy, what we're going to do, we're going to take a very short break. Give our voice actors a chance to grab another water, grab another tea, um, and give everyone in chat a chance to go grab yourself a drink. Um... I personally need a bio break, probably a little bit TMI, but that is uh, <laughs> there. So we're going to take a short five minute break before we cross examine Frank Sort. Um, and then we'll come back and see if we can see what we can glean from his testimony. We'll see everyone in chat in a few minutes. For now, though, short break. See you all very soon.
And we are back. So, let's take a quick reminder of what we've done so far in the case. We have been introduced to our main character, Phoenix Wright, his first defendant, Larry Butts, his mentor, Mia Fey, the judge that will be the judge for the majority of this game, and defense lawyer for case number one, Winston Payne. The latest character, this newspaper salesman we see in front of us, Mr. Frank Soy. <coughs> so, once we've heard a testimony, we probably won't be voice acting it again. But we'll still take a look through and see which, see who we can press and uh, which ones we can press on and which ones we need to. Also, Ham, don't, don't think I didn't see your boatloads of arson in chat both on YouTube and on Twitch. Um, that is double the arson. I'm only just realizing that Restream is a great, great way for you to spread your arson emotes. So, welcome to stream. <laughs> so, and happy birthday as well, as a second reminder. So, let's have a quick reminder of... It's not arson, it's birthday candles. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally birthday candles. Yes, yeah. No, I, I don't know what you mean. It's uh, <laughs> I've I've always wondered, ass on what seats, grass. Oh my god! Seat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, terrible joke on my end. <laughs> oh, no, don't you dare apologise for that. That's an absolute belter. <laughs> if it's good enough for Ardman to make a pun out of it, it's good enough for us. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Arsenal <or> rounding. <laughs> there we yes! go. Yes! <laughs> was Peter Kay voiced that character? I didn't find that out until like last year. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the policeman in uh, Curse of the Were Rabbit. Peter yeah. Kay. You know, the uh, yeah. the people that uh, I think it was the, um, uh, the, the company that paid for that to be directed didn't want the characters to keep their British British accents. No, they no, there was a big uh, it. Yeah. There was a big fight in the beginning of well, I say big fight, there was like a big kind of debate between the uh, production company and Ardman themselves trying to like localize it effectively to kind of get it to go worldwide. And then they ended up releasing one of the most successful stop motion animation movies of all time. So I mean, you can't yeah, really no, beat a Devon accent, to be honest, or just that West Country kind of... Is it West Country? Just, yeah. just Peter Sellers on his own, man. That man was a oh, unreal. Was so good. So good. He was made to play that character. He was the perfect, perfect Wallace. Oh, he was, absolutely. To the point where he's, I'm pretty sure he's still the voice of the elevators in Ardman HQ. Oh, I think he is, absolutely. That is still Peter Sellers' voice that they use. Uh, Han says it's Yorkshire. Yorkshire, yeah, yeah, fairness, some of it, yeah, Yorkshire, actually yeah. is Yorkshire, sorry, yeah. There we go. Shows how long Yorkshire. it's been since I've watched anything, <laughs> since I watched anything Ardman. Wensleydale cheese, Gromit. Right, okay, so. And this so, next section of the, the case, Winston I, I, Payne I, I, is going to be fake. He's going to be I, I, Winston <laughs> Payne. No, I don't, I don't know what you mean. I definitely didn't smoke 50 packs a day and sound like I'm. Very vaguely from the Bronx scandal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but with, with Ace Attorney in the background, I can only think of one thing when you guys say Wallace and Gromit. There's what? no cheese in prison, Gromit! <laughs> no cheese in crackers in prison, Gromit! Quick, the Gromit, we've got to hide the bodies! <laughs> There's no cheese! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, that's the only thing that came to my mind, and if I didn't say it, the end was going to be there for the rest of the stream. Yeah, understandable. Yeah, so, uh, Shall we continue? Yes, let's continue. So, uh, a quick out-of-character read-through of Saw It's Thing as a reminder from before the break. Uh, I was going door-to-door -door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing the apart an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. 
Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there. A woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1pm. Now, I don't want to click too far ahead because then it'll go back to Phoenix and go, I don't know where the lie is and that kind of thing. So, let's go back to the start. <coughs> right, so here we have options. We have the option to press him, so it's not accusing him of anything, but ask further questions. And present. Um, so. Any so just mention, you, the way you said present, I just imagine. <laughs> just, like, Ace of freaking Phoenix Knight just pulling a rifle. Right! Just <laughs> 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 attention. Exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. Right. Better tell the truth, sort, or I'll blast your head off. Right, so, we'll... <laughs> and then we'll have another case on our hands. Exactly, exactly. There was a maiden in the courtroom. I saw him <laughs> with my own eyes. <laughs> your honour, he's guilty. Absolutely. Phoenix Wright, guilty. Two thousand years in jail. <laughs> Into oh, no. the cells with you by my bed. So... Any phrases there that seemed suspect off the bat? Well, if he is a door-to-door -door salesman, surely someone leaving an apartment wouldn't be all that suspect. You must see that all the time, people coming and going. That is very true. That is very true. That is very true indeed. What do you guys think? What uh, we've, we've heard from Mr. Phoenix Wright himself. How, what, what, do, what do the rest of us think? And chat, feel free to uh, feel free to chime in as well with your opinions. I think I agree. If you're a door-to-door -door salesman, surely someone leaving in a hurry shouldn't be a problem. Excellent. That's two votes for that. Well, let's see how they react to being pressed <laughs> on this, then. Isn't a man leaving an apartment a common sight? I find it odd you would take notice of it. <laughs> I I don't know, it just seemed strange to me, that's all. Like he was mad and yet frightened at the same time. Just like a criminal fleeing the scene of a crime. The defense requested the witness refrain from conjecture. Of course, what the witness means is that the man he saw looked suspicious. So, what happened next? Oh, I, I agree, Jint. He does definitely seem like a very slimy character. But he must be in a hurry because he left the door open behind him. I personally think that seems quite reasonable, to be honest. If he, uh, what, what do you guys think? Yes, I think I think that's reasonable. <clears throat> Inside the apartment. in fright and find myself unable to go inside. Thought to call the again reasonable to me. Let's tell you. 
just to double check things, let's check the... Phoenix, rem remember to check the court record. Hmm. The blackout time matches what he said. Noon to 6 p.m., went out at 1. Makes sense. Wait a minute. Where's the autopsy report? Hmm. Time of death, 4 p.m. and 5. How could he have found her at 1? You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m., I'm certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to... Or nobody to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three-hour gap? Oh, um... <clears throat> oh, oh, that, that, oh, uh... Um... This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Soit, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I, <laughs> that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Wait, wait, I, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, uh, but it was three, hour three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1pm. I'm terribly sorry for the misunderstanding. Hmm. I see you heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. The Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. Do you? Let's head back over to the uh, the play screen. Here we go. Right, so. Oh, 
Oh, that is a very good question, Jinty. Very good question indeed. Hmm. Shall we head back to the court record? Or shall we go through to see if we find anything suspect? Oh, Ham. Good point. Very good point. I do find it somewhat suspicious that he could hear anything when there was a blackout. Sure. Surely if there was a blackout, then you wouldn't then nothing would be working, no? Including the television. Let's see how they react. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. Oh! <laughs> you couldn't have heard a television or a video. I... I... Well... I... I the defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Soit? No, I, I I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Oh. Uh, um. Ah, yes, I... Wait, wait. I remember now. Mr. Soit? The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning this const these constant corrections are harming your credibility. That and you seem rather distraught. My, my, my apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Soit. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Actually, I didn't hear the time I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yes, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Oh, some very interesting points by Han there. Very interesting... <laughs> very interesting German phrase there by Jinty. Lies have short legs. Yeah, I believe it goes on to say, lies have short legs and don't run far. Ooh, well, that is I, quite the saying. It's a beautiful saying. Uh, I, I also know will, notice, will know it as well as it has uh, also been adopted across uh, various different countries in Europe and so it made its way into uh, a bit of dialogue in The Witcher 3. <laughs> Ooh, okay. The Witcher 3 is on my playlist but I've just not got round to... Uh... Well, there we go. I, I, I've oh. heard a version of that which is um, like in reference to someone who's like kind of iffy or not really with it, like they've not got a leg to stand on. I think that's similar. 
Similar-ish, yeah. Yeah, that, that's quite a common one in English-speaking countries, in fairness. Um, I, I love Han's explanation of being, a, of being on the ball here. Just I've watched slash read a lot of detective stories. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I'm so, just waiting for Han to, to turn around and hit us with the... You know, one more thing. My wife... <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> that or I that or the classic Poirot ah, I bet you wonder why I've called you all here <laughs> <As> a... <laughs> that is a belter as well to be fair love a bit of Poirot <laughs> well, I do love Poirot in fairness right so very interesting point by Han in chat with the murder weapon being a statue should we go with that or do you want to press him on any other any other aspects I agree. He seems I think it might be worth checking the statue. How could he know the time was, or confuse the time for 1pm when the murder weapon wasn't a clock at all? In that case, let's see how we react. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon was not a clock. It was this statue. Now how is this supposed to be a clock? I, you with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Sawit. Hey, I... I saw it there. Okay. That's a clock! Your Honor, if I may... Yes, Mr. Payne? As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it, and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. M my, my apologies, Your Honor. Your beardiness. <laughs> I see. So, the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well. Mr. Wright, it appears the witness testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? Yes, I do. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock was to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm. Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh, yeah? Prove it! Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court! Order, I say! Intriguing! Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sawit. 
The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What, what, what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that, that day, I, I, I never... Look, I... The clock. I heard... No, I saw... Ah, ah. Ah, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I hate you. It was him. I tell you. I saw him. He, he killed her and he should burn. Burn! Give him death! Order! Order in the court, I say. Your Honor, a, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright! Your Honor? You claim the sound of the witness... You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock? Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I better think it through carefully. But, Your Honor, the sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply. Okay. We have a decision, chat. <clears throat> also, I freaking love this cornered music. This is my favorite bit of music in the entire in the entire Phoenix Wright game. So, which well, should right we there, go right with? Right. Class? Class? Uh, teacher brain going on. <laughs> which <laughs> shot should we go for? <laughs> that was phenomenal. <laughs> You know what? It'd be interesting if we called the chat the jury through these. That would have been a fun oh, thing to talk on, no. about before. Damn it! That is a yeah. shout. The chat That's is the jury. Yeah, she, she's got a point. <laughs> that was a missed now, opportunity the from the start. That is a stellar idea. I love that. So, oh. jury, what do you think? I might have missed that earlier, sorry. Oh, no, don't apologize. If we get any Scot more Scottish people in the chat, we can call them Judy Cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, I'll be here all week. Oh, there we go. Well, we've got one Jira with Jinty torn between two answers. So's Ham. <laughs> Whilst you guys are deciding... Let's let's take a vote from the the cast members. Uh, I will stay stum for now, but we'll start with with Larry Butts themselves, Lily. Who should we go for? Which one do you think we should go for? Nick, trust me. Try sounding the clock. Gotta believe me, dude. Mia Fey, what do you think about this? Well, if you want to prove that the clock talks, what better way than to try sounding it? There we go. We've got another vote from Jinty with try sounding the clock. I think that is an overwhelming majority of the people that have been active. <coughs> Let's see how we react. Let's sound the clock. Now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? 
I ask the court to listen very carefully. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's... it's, uh... It's 11.25. At As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawid heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawid... Try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing. Oh. What's he talking about? While it may seem the clock is running slow, three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. Oh, he's right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it. I was so close. Mr. Wright, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. <sighs> yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, this ends the cross-examination. Of Mr. Frank saw it. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal! You lawyers are all slime. <sighs> I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Sawit. Mia, I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow on the day of the murder. N nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking outside of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and... Think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right? Right? Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Y yes. Well, Mr. Wright, can you? Yes, yes. Oh, wait. 
Um. Hmm. Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Okay, chat, we all have, we have him on the ropes. What piece of evidence do you think might prove his, uh... I feel a bit like Dora the Explorer saying that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, everyone. Where's the map? <laughs> Where's the can, evidence? Can you see the evidence, chat? Can you help us give this man the death sentence? We're looking for Evidente. Can you say Evidente? <laughs> <laughs> We should not be having this much stupid in just the first case alone. Oh, just you wait. It gets wild. Oh, it does. Oh, lordy. Oh, I, I'm aware it gets wild. I haven't watched three parts of this series. I know what's upcoming. <laughs> right. What do we have? We have a vote for the sounding. Uh, for, uh, nope, never mind. That might be. That was a little that... bit of old chat. I, I got confused. <laughs> I am easily confused. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I do you know where you are, Shamans? Do you do you know where you are? If me confused, you must be say simply, my own brain. I put all of my brain cells into my beard. Please, be, be blunt. Surely if it was all the brain cells in your beard, it wouldn't be as big and glorious as that one is. <laughs> Just one me here jumping about the face at random. <laughs> Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. <laughs> Pay, no prosecution. Pay, no prosecution. So it, no lying. So it, no lying. And then our stupid fan has said maybe the passport. He gave me the time to slow down after Cindy was hit with the statue. Ooh. Passport. Possibly. Wait. From Paris, the time zone. Oh, we've got two votes for the passport. One vote for the for the clock. Some very good reasoning for the passport. Mia, what do you think? Well, if Paris is in a different time zone, then it would make sense with the time difference. That's saying. Larry, what do you think? There's no way a statue must have been that out of place. I believe that's some votes for the passport. Let us see how that goes. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day of the murder. The day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. 
That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in the apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? <laughs> oh, order! Order, I say! By my beard! Well, <clears throat> this case has certainly turned out differently than when we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? <laughs> he, uh, <clears throat> he was arrested uh, and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. It's the first I've seen a court with confetti. <coughs> and with that, this court is adjourned. It turns out that Frank Sawid was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check when people were out of the house. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. What are you doing in my house? While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Ooh! Still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not 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 at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel! What it was over! Larry, you're supposed to be happy! What's wrong now? Oh, Nick! Don't worry about me. We'll be dead and gone soon. Oh, good. Wait, no, I mean bad! Bad, 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 bad! Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But my Cindy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever! Larry, she was a... Nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. Uh, Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts. Innocent. <laughs> um, thanks. I really owe you one. 
I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner? Movie? My treat. Oh no, I, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Mm. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. A present? For me? Wait. Wasn't this the evidence that... Uh, actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her, and one for me. Really? You? You made this? Uh, well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And... And she was just playing me for a fool. Don't let this make you want to cry. <laughs> Larry, I... Hmm. Mm. Are you so sure? Uh, uh, excuse me? I think she fought quite a lot of you. In her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing. Really. <clears throat> Isn't that right? Right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? A very good question, Mr. Wright. If my OBS will work with me for a second. Thank you, OBS. No, it's not the time to add up. It's <laughs> up, I should say. Uh, so, what is Mia talking about? What do you guys think? I... One second. Hmm? I was going to say something, and then my lungs decided they hate me. <laughs> it is fair. And because they hate me, I've forgotten what I was going to say. Ignore me now. Or oh, Han suggesting the clock? What do you think, Mr. Wright? Well, if she didn't care for him, why would she carry around that clock, especially all the way to Paris? Let's see how they react to that. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she traveled. Whatever. She probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Uh, well, make of it what you will. Uh, hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. I hope that made him feel a little better.
right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realise things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me. We'll drink a toast to the innocent butts. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Harry. You were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him? Uh, yeah. Part, at least. You have to tell me about it. You have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks. And so, my first trial came to a close. Laddie slapped me on the back and said, "Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends." But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us, unless you count the clock he gave Maya. I didn't know it then, but that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. My promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. That is where we'll leave. The first trial. Oh, I noticed now that that screen is a little small. However, that is um. where we will leave the first trial. And I will stop stop streaming because now. I like to thank everybody for going. Oh, the world back to normal. Thank you. That's uh... back to normal. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> a little bit of the stream magic. <laughs> That was uh, gone, uh, dissipated, <coughs> disappeared. And that will be something too. For episode two, turn about. Let's save our progress up to this point, and that is for episode two, turn about sisters. There we go. Oh, right. So for now, I will turn my camera back on. You will see that during the break. I did. Where where did it go? It is yeah. No, the camera on Discord. This is me. <laughs> I, 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 you know, uh, Annie is here. Donald had it's Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> from Wish has arrived. I, 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 I turned it on. Transformed. I have transformed. Uh, yes. I would like to rage. I, uh, uh. He's been possessed by the spirit of an Austrian superhero slash governor of California. Slash Terminator. <laughs> slash, <laughs> slash Vietnam War hero. No, alien war slash hero. Slash us at one point. Uh, uh, get out of here. Get to the chopper. Uh, put the cookie down. <laughs> Oh, I've not I've not watched Jingle in so long, by the way. <laughs> oh my God. That. 
Good lord. <laughs> Willie, are you okay? No. Uh, oh. Don't worry. It's I am, fine. <laughs> I am the Austrian Professor Oak here. Come the on, Austrian. you got Pokemon. Oh no, that was his that was his nickname due to his size and like just how big he was. He was the Austrian Oak and he was solid. Oh, <laughs> my mind straight went straight oh. to here, choose oh. your starter. There's Chan on the Delvis on Squirtle. Do it, you my boy. <laughs> What is your name? <laughs> Kira, and for chat and anyone who watches the vlog afterwards, I am okay. When I start laughing a lot, I tend to uh, end up coughing and I will have a laughing coughing fit. I just need a few minutes to calm down and I will be back to normal soon ish. I, I promise I am okay. I know that it could cause panic for people who's, who are not used to me laughing so damn hard. That's fair. Understandable. Sorry, yeah, that is, uh, that is my Arnold Schwarzenegger from Wish Impression. There we go. So, <laughs> I know it's not good, but that, that just adds to the comment. The, the, how bad my impression is just adds to the comedy, I feel. But that is... Oh, definitely. Definitely. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I used that for one of my D&D characters once, actually. He was... Uh, he spoke with a West Country... He was a little known barbarian, he was, called Fizzy. And he spoke with a West Country accent until he decided to rage and turn into budget, turned into budget Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger. That's um, I, that's how have we gone small that. again? Oh, have we but gone small tiny again? again? Oh, no. why, we why are we tiny? Oh, right, there we go. Back <laughs> Any excuse, any excuse to use that voice. Also, uh, Genty saying it isn't the Governor of California. I know he isn't currently, but he was uh, for a period of time uh, the Governor of California. And he actually done very well for the state of California. Yeah. If you look into some of the stuff that he put forward, uh, despite being a member of the Republican Party, he actually managed to get some pretty decent stuff put yeah. through uh, and, for yeah. California, some yeah. really progressive laws. I've also uh, with heard, especially yeah. regarding the film industry. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt that. I've also heard the only reason he didn't run for president was that according to Amer the American Constitution and other things, non-Americans cannot run for president. He did one yeah. thing. What? You need, to, you need to be fully born. And that's not just a case of you need American citizenship. You need to be born in the United States of America in order to become the American president. It is a holdover from, uh, when, they were, from the, when the Constitution was originally written. Uh, they essentially didn't yes. want the... They didn't want, want anybody being sent over from... Uh, they, they, as essentially spies running for positions in office and then going up because we did actually because Britain did try that, uh, as, a, as an attempt to destabilize uh, the US and bring it back into the colonies. We did attempt to send people over, uh, yes. to invade the government and then kind of do that. So that's why that's there to this day. Yes, either way, we're going off on one of our famous tangents. Uh, for any of you that have seen. Me, Cyber, and Lily do anything together before tangents are our speciality. So that is that <laughs> thing. So let's let's go back on to the first case for Apollo, not Apollo Justice, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Oh, just <laughs> me, me, for so, yeah. <laughs> Apollo Justice. In, in my defence, Apollo Justice was the first Ace Attorney game that I played. So fair that's, enough. Yeah, that, that's usually where my brain goes to Apollo Justice, but. We have now completed the first case for Ace Attorney, or Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, or yeah. Dubbed Attorney, as we're calling this series. Um, there, there was something that I wanted to ask, because I saw it in chat a while ago, but I didn't think it was right to say when we still had the first one going. I think I remember someone asking about cast call for the second trial. Ah, cast call. Yeah, someone was. Yes, yeah, some someone was asking uh, who was playing Edgeworth. I believe. I believe. Uh, Rivers yes. Was yes. In the chat Rivers asking was, who was playing, asking who was Edgeworth. playing Edgeworth. So, um, the current casting for the next. Let me get the just to make sure that we. I've got the main characters up at least. So, uh, the way we'll be doing it is, if you've started voicing a character, if they are a recurring character you will voice them for the rest of this. So, um, you will have the judge still coming back. By my beard, I promise I will continue to voice the judge. Um, we will also have uh, Mr. Ben Nevin, Cyberman360, voicing, continuing to voice Phoenix Wright um, moving forward. Um, 
and for any appearance is of Larry Butts. Uh, Don't worry, dude. I got you covered. And for any future appearances for Mia Fey, we'll have the wonderful Kirazi Pug voicing her as well. For the second, uh, let me get the. Um, let's see. So for the second set of cases, um, because this is of the second case, which is turn about sisters. Uh, the the current casting. So we already partially know the casting for this, right? Because Mia Fey turns up in second. The second one um, that will be Kira. I'll be the judge, and Cyber will be Phoenix. As for the other characters, the current casting. Well, actually, that will be spoilers, but we all know, well, uh, as Edgeworth was brought up, um, Edgeworth will be voiced by Lily. Lily will be entrusted with the recurring character of Miles <laughs> Edgeworth. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, what voice they bring out next time <laughs> around. As for the other, I, I, I'm not giving spoilers for the voice, but trust me, he is as pretentious as he comes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. As for the other <laughs> characters, I shall not spoil it for anyone that uh, does not want spoilers for who else turns up in uh, the next case. So, having said that. I think this is as good a time as any to, um, as any as good a time as any to call it a day uh, to end this stream here. So, uh, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, we've had as our cast for today, Mr. Ben Nevin, Cyberman Three Hundred and Sixty. We've had Kira Z Pug, Lily. Aota and myself, Shamas or Shamas Streams. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this very first inaugural episode of Phoenix Wright Dubbed Attorney. Um, if you have any feedback, uh, if you have, me, if you're in any of the same Discord servers as me, whether it's Cybers or Kira's or um, Lily's designated nerd server, then you can send us uh, send us a DM or let us know in the servers. Or if you um, if you don't know, you can leave comments under the YouTube VOD, which will be up once stream finishes. And you'll also be you'll also be able to send us an email on uh, specdubstudios at gmail.com. So thank you all very much for turning up. I hope you've all enjoyed, and we'll see you next week for episode two. Bye.